Hello everyone, Bronco with Broncos Gaming World. Back today with some more Lord of the Rings. Trying to keep it quiet because we're supposed to be quiet in the, in the minds of Moria not to attract attention to ourselves. I'm going to take a quick look at uh, the uh, physical game that you can actually buy from Fantasy Flight Games. They just released in the last few months a revised core set uh, that you can pick up and uh, it gives you... A, a whole bunch of updated cards and some updated artwork from what they used to have in the original core sets. It gives you everything you need to actually play a one to four player game, which is super, super nice. We're back in the day, we were buying three or four core sets. I think I personally own four Lord of the Rings core box sets. Nowadays, you won't need to do that as much with uh, buying the uh, revised core set that they have out there. It's 70 bucks, which you know, if you're buying two or three core sets, you're spending way more money than that. So that's a good, pretty good, pretty good price point. They also have repackaged a lot of their expansions into these more efficient ways to purchase things, uh, similar to what we had when we were looking at Arkham last week. Uh, this one here is the Fellowship of the Ring Saga expansion, which is what we are currently playing here on Octagon. Uh, we are on the uh, second quest of the Road Darkens, and this box set comes with everything from the original Black Riders box set as well as the Road Road Darkens box set. It gives you all of those combined into one large expansion set for 70 bucks, which overall isn't too bad of a price. I think they're running both around $30, $35. You know, we're talking almost 10 years ago for those. So universally, I think that those, that is a, uh, a pretty good price point for those. And it's efficient. It gives you everything you need. You're not trying to hunt down two different box sets or anything so it's a it's a cool thing that they did all right so there's a there's the game you can go pick that up you know off of their website or i recommend heavily going to one of your uh, local game shops and uh, support your local market they'd be they, they can either get it for you or they have it sitting on their shelf so uh, go check them out um there's a ton of other stuff too tons of cycles this game's been out for i think about 10 years now so there's a ton out there for it the Fantasy Flight website is a great uh, support for you because it gives you all the rule books for all the campaigns, all the quests, and everything. So if you do have any questions, you can go find them. I'm like right here, up here, I actually have the Road Darkens sheet open from their site because I'm going to use it today to help us out. You know, so they have all of the quests. There's 50 of them probably. They have the, you know, they have your FAQ. If you have tournaments, you know, other, you know, they actually have like some deck lists from the community in there. Not a lot of them, but they do have some, you know, there's like achievements, you know, kind of like a video game. If you, if you want to try to do some of those, uh, apparently there was some trivia at one point, you know, so there's lots of, lots of good resources on there from fantasy flight. I'm a, I'm a simp for, uh, for fantasy flight stuff. So I'm going to uh, talk it up as much as I can. All right, let's, uh, we are on to Journey in the Dark today, so we are going to go face our pal, the Balrog, here. So here is my Fellowship for the Balrog deck. Um, like I said earlier, um, I'm, probably not, I'm probably not going to acknowledge the uh, threat increasing if I change my decks around, because I don't really see how you couldn't change your, your hero structure and decks almost every single quest. It just doesn't uh, it doesn't match up or make a whole lot of sense. So this quest here today, for uh, or this deck for a Journey into the Dark, we're going to run uh, the lore version of Aragorn. He's a Dunedain Ranger, uh, two willpower, three attack, two defense with five hit points, and he's got the refresh action, reduce your threat to your starting threat level. So I can do that once a game. So we're going to spike our threat, and then he's gonna he's gonna hide us, and it's going to drop it back down. We're running Gandalf the Gray. He's a threat 14. He's 3 willpower, 3 attack, 3 defense with 5 hit points. Allows us to play with the top card of our deck face up. And once per phase, we can play the top card of our deck as if it was in our hand. And it says, when playing this card this way, Gandalf is considered to have all four of the printed uh, icons. And he has a neutral hero. Then we're running Tactics version of Mary. He's a 6 threat. Two willpower, zero attack, one defense, and two hit points. And his zero attack is deceptive because he gets plus one attack for each hobbit hero you control, which includes himself, so he is a realistically a, a two attack 
hero. And his response is incredible. Uh, after Mary participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, you get to ready another character that participated in that attack. So he can help kill somebody and then raise them up again. And then we're running uh, the ring bearer today is uh, Money Baggins. He is uh, the Mountain of Fire for Hodo Baggins. Zero threat, two willpower, one attack, two damage, two health. And he has the planning action, exhaust the one ring to add one resource to a hero's pool. That's why he's the money man. So he will help us out. We're running the fellowship contract today. It says that we can't play unique allies or put non, or it says you can't, you can't play non-unique allies or put non-unique allies into play. And then when we do have exactly nine unique characters, we flip the card to side B and says you cannot, still can't play allies or allies, put allies into play. Can't play any allies. Doesn't matter whether they're unique at all or, or not. And it says each character you control gets plus one willpower, plus one attack, and plus one defense. And then if any any character we control leaves play, we flip that card back over because we don't have nine anymore. So my fellowship is going to be a little more unorthodox than than Lore would have it because we're going to have a shot to get build a pony. He's going to go into the into the mines with us, unlike uh in the book and the movie where he leaves when they get to the lake where the watcher of the water is. Boromir, Gimli, Legolas, Miss Rosie Cotton, Sam's girlfriend, and Sam, the spirit version of Sam. They're going to uh, be our fellowship today, and hopefully uh, it won't be too difficult to get them out. Uh, we have a whole bunch of campaign cards that came along with us. Sting in the Mithril shirt, Glamdring and Andrew. The sword that was broken is now reforged. Uh, you know, Gandalf's sword, the missile shirt, and Sting. Uh, then we have our campaign cards that are coming, uh, that have both f positive or negative are coming along with us. And I will, uh, I'll show you guys that. So what we've got here is there's going to be a good chance to get some attachments to us. So we're going to run Athlos, which will allow us to uh, heal completely and discard an attachment from our character. Uh, the Kilburn Stone. Again, we're not looking at lore here. You're looking for a full blown, full blown uh, lore run through the Lord of the Rings saga. Go watch the guys over at Cardboard of the Rings. They're doing one right now, and it's pretty solid. Um, Dagger Westerness, Fast Hitch. Dagger Westerness is going to be something I'm going to strap on to Mary as soon as possible. Fast Hitch are going to go on the Hobbits. Ideally, I get one on Rosie and on Frodo and Mary. I may actually put two on Frodo, because Frodo is going to be our absolute brick wall of a defender in this quest. Uh, we've got all, of Gandalf, you know, all of Gandalf's toys, the, his staff, his ring, his pipe. The friend of friends is always solid for the hobbits. Uh, running one protector of Lorien, that's going to go on to Frodo. Our steward of Gondor is going to help fund our adventure. Got a pair of unexpected courages that I can only get out on the board via Gandalf or the Kelbrin Stone, which is fine. Uh, close Call. Close Call's got a Doomed X. Allows us to cancel cancel X damage dealt to the hero, so it's cancel however much damage would dealt to somebody. And I just raise my threat by that much to do that. That's a, that is our emergency ejector button if something crazy happens or if like Frodo or one of the heroes is going to outright die by an attack, I'm going to raise my threat instead. Uh, we've got our card drawing engines, Dayron's runes, deep knowledge, drinking song. Uh, I'm running one faint just in case I have to, I don't have the, uh, Frodo brick wall built yet. I can stop a pretty heavy attack. There's a handful of orcs in there that are attack pretty hard. Flame of an ore is going to help us boost Gandalf's attack enough to get, to get us past the, uh, damage threshold on the Balrog. Oh, hammers more card draw. Frodo's in integration is some more card draw along with some willpower boosts. That's what we got running today. So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the deck. I think it's uh, it's performed pretty well in a handful of uh, test runs. It's it's fun. It's ridiculous. Like <laughs> you'll see, you'll see how ridiculous Frodo can get. Hopefully, all right. Let's go take a look at the journey in the dark. All right. So here we go. This journey in the dark says after their attempt to try climb the Redhorn Pass over the Misty Mountains was thwarted by heavy snow and their journey through Holland hounded by evil wargs, 
the Fellowship of the Ring was forced to seek passage under the mountains through the mines of Moria. Once the greatest dwelling place of the dwarves, Khazadum was often plundered by orcs and it had become a name of ill omen. Yet there was still some hope that Frodo and his companions might find the colony of dwarves that had been led there, led there years before by Balin, son of Fundin, one of Thorn Oakenshield's renowned companions in the quest for the Lonely Mountain and, and a friend of Bilbo Baggins. However, the Company of the Ring discovered no sign of Balin's colony upon entering Mor Moria. Instead, they were surrounded by constant darkness and growing dread. With the way behind them blocked by the Watcher in the Water, the Fellowship's only chance was to make the hazardous <coughs> journey across the mines to the eastern door many twisting miles away. They hoped to make, to make the crossing in secret, but the presence of the One Ring could not, would not go unnoticed by the evil things lur lurking in the dark. Journey in the Dark is played with an encounter deck built with all the cards from the following encounter set, The Journey in the Dark. This set is indicated by the following icon, and that is the Balrog icon. All right, we are ready. Breaking of the Fellowship will be our next quest that we get to go on, but we will uh, we will get there when that time comes. All right, so there we go. Let's uh, swap us over to our game here. Pow. All right, folks. There we are. All right, so I have the game mostly set up. Uh, here is our burdens that we carried on with. We have panicked. It surges, and the first player raises the threat by three and passes the first player token to the next player. And in the solo game, that does not matter. Its shadow effect is not good for us. Defending player must exhaust the character he controls. That sucks. Because that happens before our... Uh, that can actually take somebody that we were going to have defend the attack out of it. It's kind of a messed up situation. Eaten alive. As revealed, the first player must deal X damage divided among heroes he controls, where X is the number of players in the game. That one's actually a pretty weak burden for us, because he just does a point of damage. Uh, and then the shadow effect sucks a little more, because it just deals a direct damage. It does not care about how much defense you have. It, you know, that's a that's a character killer if you t if, in, in certain quests, depending on how much damage you have. Alright, so we also have Mr. Underhill. He's still attached to Frodo. We also get Ho Tom Bombadil. We have not used him yet. He'll end our he'll end up in our hand once we get the ball rolling. Uh, up here for the setup. Actually, I'm going to do my hand first. So let's uh, mulligan here because we're definitely going to. None of that helps us right out of the box the way I had hoped. So I'm going to mulligan that into a new hand. And here is our new hand, and then Ho Tom joins it right away. All right, so that's a better. No, it's not great, but it's better. We'll put our resources on our heroes here. All right, so up here it says, you're playing campaign mode. It says, set up Shuffle the Burden, Treachery cards pursued by the enemy and Shadow of Fear into the encounter deck and add Burden Objective cards to Grievous Wound and Overcome by Grief to the Sage area. So here is Overcome by Grief, which is a pretty significantly poor uh, burden. Uh, it says, add Overcome by Grief to the staging area. Forced after a character is destroyed, that's the keyword is destroyed, because there's cards in there that say discard. That's a different thing. Uh, it says, after a character is destroyed, if overcome by grief is unattached, attached to, uh, attached to a hero, counts as a condition attachment with the text forced. After a character you control is destroyed, exhaust the attached hero. Until the end of the round, the attached hero cannot get ready. So it basically costs you a whole turn of being able to use that character if any of your guys are destroyed. So if you're running a deck that's got... A, a bunch of chump blocking enemies and stuff uh overcome by grief could really really screw you all right and we also have grievous wound it says after a hero takes damage if grievous wound is unattached attached to that hero counts as a condition attachment with the text forced after the attached hero exhausts deal one damage to it that is freaking terrible and that's why we have things like athelos in our in our deck is to make that shit go away because that thing is terrible So, those are the uh, the setup here. All right, here we go. Trapped inside the the mines of Moria, the Company of the Ring must find their way through many twisting passages to reach the eastern door. But with every step, if with every step they take into the mines, there there is a growing sense of dread. The set the Balrog, the Great Bridge, and the Chamber, Chamber of Mars Bowl aside out of play. Add Doom 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 to the staging area and place 10 damage on it, and then each player has one different location of the staging area. 
All right, so here's Doom, Doom, Doom. It says at the end of the quest phase, remove one token from Doom, Doom, Doom. If there are no damage tokens here, add the battle to the staging area. So that's him lurking off in the distance and uh, starting to creep his way towards us. At the end of the quest phase, the Balrog will make attack if it is in play. So we'll add, I'm going to use damage counters as my countdown. So it gets 10. All right, now we also get to pick and add one location to the staging area. These are the four different locations that are in the deck. So there are many pillared halls. It's a one threat, six, uh, uh, six quest points to get through. Many Pillar Hard gets plus one threat for each Many Pillar Hall in play, including itself. So it's actually a two, not a one. And its shadow effect uh, is just adds damage. Uh, the Darkened Stairway is a four threat, two quest points to get through. After Darkened Stairway is explored, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If the discarded card is, is a location, add it to the stage area. This is going to be the card I choose to put in here, I believe. Uh, the Ancient Guard Room. While Ancient Guard Room is active location, each enemy gets in play gets minus one attack. Uh, but to travel there, we have to discard the top card of the encounter deck, and each player raises a threat by X or X is the discarded cards. Right. That's not uh, that's not really what we're looking for. Uh, and the Mines of Moria, while the Mines of Moria is in the staging area, progress must be placed on the Mines of Moria before it can be placed on the current quest. We definitely don't want to do that. So the uh, I'm either going to go with the Darkened Stairway or the Ancient Guard Room. I'm leaning more towards the Darkened Stairway. I think I'm going to go with the Darkened Stairway. So these other ones are going to get shuffled back in. We will put those into the... In, shuffle them into the encounter deck along with... Along with the, uh, the burdens that we had. Shuffle that up. Shuffle it a bunch of times, just like I would in... in uh, Thing of game in the physical form, and I'll drag these over here because they're going to go. Well, hopefully, only one of them ends up joining the uh, going in the mix today. And then we have the location here. I also have Gandalf's delay again, like I mentioned before. I'm going to be doing and handling Gandalf's delay the way the new card says, which is to just skip your draw phase. At the beginning, so I'm just not going to draw a card in my opening turn, so I won't draw an extra card here. Okay, so our starting threat in the stairway is four. So here's how we're gonna I'm gonna handle this quest. I'm literally gonna look to gear up Frodo as much as I possibly can to be uh, the to be the uh, our in-house defender. Um, Aragorn and Mary are going to be the other components that are going to do questing and fighting for us. Gandalf's going to be kind of the utility guy until the time comes that uh, somebody has to go because we know that at some point this thing right here is going to make one of our heroes take a big leap into the ocean and that hero is going to be somebody that we know. I don't know who, but it's going to be somebody we know. Um, so that's, that's kind of how we're going to look to, to do this. Uh, there's a good amount of enemies in this deck. The uh, treacheries are pretty bad. Um, I'm going to be spiking threat knowing that we're going to be able to lower it down here with Aragorn, you know, and just having the absolute just brick wall of Frodo Baggins. Hopefully you guys will get to see the, the, the Baggins brick wall here. All right. All right. So we're ready to go here. It's going to be our planning phase. Oh, I over here. I had the uh, the quest card for Ringo South. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to pick up a uh, a burden. I did not because I did not have Lost of the Ring attached to anybody, so I did not miss a burden. So the stuff that I have in my encounter deck should be complete. All right. So with Fro with a uh, Gandalf, we get to always have look at the top card of the deck. It is a drinking song on the top of our deck, so that doesn't help us too much. All right. Uh, Money Baggins is going to kick a resource to Gandalf. So he now has two. And Gandalf is going to spend one of his to put Fast Hitch on Frodo. That's <coughs> that's step one towards uh, gearing him up. Hmm. Get Narya out. Narya will give 
Gandalf to uh, or give him the lore or the leadership resource. So we will spend that as well. One and one from Mary. Really, hold on. I'm going to spend Aragorn. And we'll put Minaria. Now, now Gandalf can. Now Gandalf can use leadership just inherently, so he doesn't have to have it sitting on top of the deck. Um, mm, all right, we're only facing four. Our, we're looking at 32 right here. Frodo can defend for two. I'm going to quest for two, four, six. We will crap, do fast hitch right away. Six. Mm. I don't like it. If I do draw an enemy, there's a good chance that there'll be a, enough to come attack us. Oh, forgot to flip to the other side. 1B says there were not many roads to choose from. There were also in there there were also in many places holes and pitfalls in dark wells besides the path in which which their passing field which their passing field echoed. It says after a player's optionally engage an enemy, remove one damage from token from Doom Doom Doom. We do not want to optionally engage people. I'm gonna quest with everybody. So we're gonna quest for nine total. Two, four, six. Nine. One card to play. Here we go. Boom. We got a bad guy, of course. The so, uh, Moria Orc. Uh, two, three, one, three. When revealed, either remove one damage from Doom, 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 or reveal additional card. I'll just remove one damage because I do not want to reveal more cards. Revealing more cards is always bad. All right. So there's six total in the staging area. We quested for nine. So we will gain three here. Three. I will travel to the darkened stairway. Get active. I will not optionally engage him. Oh, we are done with the quest phase. We are not engaged with anybody. He does not attack or do anything. So we are ready to proceed to the next round at the end of the quest phase. Remove one damage, so we are down to eight. So that is where where uh, where things can get heated up. All right, so we're ready and refresh. Everybody up. Here we go. All right, so we drew our drinking song, so we get to look at the top card with Gandalf is sitting there. Is Sting? We like Sting. Money Baggins will exhaust. Actually, before I do that. So we can see it. Because I will be exhausting the one ring a good bit in this quest. Okay. Um, man, Sting would be awfully nice. Anybody can pay for it. I'm going to spend two here. One, two. And I'll play Frodo's Intuition. We are, Everybody gets plus one willpower for this turn, which is good because we want to quest as hard as possible. And I get to draw one card for each Hobbit hero I control. So I control two. So we'll draw two. One, two. Ooh, we get Sam. Sam comes on for one as soon as I can actually have spirit to pay for him. Which I do right now. Holy crap. They were hugging each other. All right, so... That is a big deal. All right. So Mary will pay two to put Sting into play, and that Sting will go on Frodo. Again, part of beefing Frodo up for his defensive wall. And he gains one, one, and one, and he gets a really cool reaction to defending because he can actually do some damage to guys. Uh, Gandalf will spend one to put Sam into play. 
because Sam only costs one if uh, Fro if we control Frodo. And with that, I'm going to drinking song and shuffle my hand in and draw a whole new hand. All right, we're going to spike our threat <clears throat> right here. I will increase our threat by two. Play deep knowledge. Two. Build a pony. Uh, Lord of Cost play build a pony by two if you control Sam. We do. So Bill shows up with Sam. So now we have another group of dudes. I will. Uh, Exhaust the one ring to give Gandalf a resource from Money Baggins, and we will a one and one and put Gandalf's staff into play. And Gandalf's staff is incredible. Gandalf's staff says I can choose one. I can either exhaust the staff to, to draw a card, add a resource to a hero's resource pool, or discard a shadow card. So. Right now, I am not looking to fight anybody, I don't think. I mean, we are at 35, so there is a shot that we might. That's the top card of the deck. We do get to look at it. Hotom. I don't care about Hotom Bombadil. What I do care is about is action advantage. But I don't have a way to play spirit cards yet. I need the Kelvin stuff. Mm, I think we're going to drinking song it again. Man. All right, so we get the Mithril shirt. Aria. Okay, I'm going to exhaust to give. Gandalf a resource, and I'm going to put the Mithril shirt on Frodo so that the Frodo, the Frodo wall is erected at this point. Because now I can actually start defending pretty hard because he is now a defense of four, and he has three or he has four hit points now because of Bill Pony. And that would have been nice to have a leg loss, but okay. The gland dream is sitting on top of the deck, so we'll have Gandalf's sword next turn, which will be nice. All right, guys, I think we're ready to uh, commit to the quest here. We're only facing against two threat. So we're going to commit one, two, three, four, uh, seven, and he will ready. Seven. Uh, -oh. uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know what I think I'm going to send everybody, eight, nine, ten, I mean, Frodo can defend it, so, three, seven, ten, 14, 17. Let's go. Let's hit a 17 in the second turn of the game. Let's do it. I mean, we do have to deal with this up here, so we need to go get through a crap load, but we want to do that as fast as we possibly can. All right, here we go. 17 against two. Boom. We get a burden. Uh, we have to deal with damage on heroes. We control X is the number of players in the game, so we do have to do a damage to a hero. We will do a damage to Mary. So he takes a point of damage and it surges. And it surges into the Many Pillared Halls. Location is good for us. We like that. Many Pillared Halls were two. So there's four. So we win by 11. <clears throat> so it's a threat of four. Minus four. Actually, we win by more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four. We win by 13. All right, so here we go. One, one, two, 
you know, death is explored, so it will discard the top card of the deck. And if it is a location, it goes into the staging area. It is not. Holy shit, that's good to see you go away, dude. That was the uh, cave troll. He went in the in the garbage can. Uh, that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have actually completed the uh, Long Dark Amor era. So this gets discarded. And we are on to Drums in the Deep. Hopefully moving too fast there didn't uh, screw job us. Add the Chamber of Mars Ball to the staging area. Chamber of Mars Ball. Here he is. All right, Chamber's Mars Ball. Mars Ball is a four threat for uh, four quest points to get through. The Mutant Card effects. We cannot advance to the next stage while this is in the in play. Each to travel there, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different enemy and adds it to the staging area. Travel here. One of those enemies must be the Orc Chieftain, and he's a dick, so we do not like him. It. If there are no enemies in the staging area at the beginning of the quest phase, the first player reveals an additional encounter card during, during the staging step. There is one, so we're good. Uh, the players cannot advance unless there are X resources on this stage, where X is the number of players times three. So I need to get, kill three enemies to get uh, out of here on top of the quest points I need. After an enemy is defeated, place one resource token on the stage. So what has happened is now the Doom 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 is not accelerated anymore. But I have to kill a bunch of enemies here in order to get out of here. All right, so Frodo's Intuition has finished its job. I will discard all of my plus one tokens for that. Oh, um, so to travel, um, not really ready to get, to take on the chieftain yet. I mean, I kind of am, I don't have enough damage in play. I know I have Glamdring coming. What I'm really hurting for is uh, my resource generation. If I don't have money baggins, I'm in a, I'm in a bad way. So he's he's really really bailing us out here. Um, six quest points is just brutal though to get through, and it only takes two out. I just don't want to put the Orc Chieftain in. How I don't know how terrible he is. I don't think he's in the discard pile. Look. I think he is. He's not. So I don't know how bad he is, and I'm not going to go hunting through it to find. I, I want to say he's a 40, which means I wouldn't have to attack him right away. But I think his text says that he attacks you right away anyway. So I don't really want to go grab him yet. All right, so we're, I guess we're going to go to the Million Pillared Hall. This may be a mistake. We'll find out. And then our optional engagement, I am going to pull him down. So he's going to come at us, bro. Um, we will be defending with Roto. He will have a shadow card because we already used his staff, so there's nothing to do about that. All right, Frodo's going to defend it, though, so he exhausts to defend. And Sting says, after you touch your exhaust to defend an attack, discard the top... <clears throat> Part of the encounter deck, deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to that card's threat value. So if we get a good threat card, we could kill this guy before he ever gets to attack. Three, two, one, go. Two. So he takes two damage. So boom, boom. He takes two damage. That guy gets discarded. His attack hits me for three, plus a shadow effect of nothing. So it bounces because Frodo's defense is four. That was good. Good for us. Overall, that went good. We'll be able to take care of him next turn, and then we'll be probably more equipped to deal with the uh, Chamber of Mars Ball and uh, all that. Discard our Doom, Doom, Doom there. We forgot to do that. Here we go. It is the end of the turn. So we are ready. And up. Our threat went up. We drew Glamdring. And we can look at the top card here and see that it's the Dagger of Westerness. I am going to play Dayron's Runes to draw some cards. We'll draw the Tiger Westernese and Andrew. 
and we get to look at the top card of our deck. Top card is the Flame of Anor. I can discard Naria to Dayron's Runes because we do not need Naria. All right, so here we go. We got uh, we got some stuff here. Um. So here we're gonna go one. Two, three, and I'm going to put Andrew out. That boosts Aragorn. And if he does defend, he gets uh, he gets to take a quick strike back. Mm. Up card is the Flame of Anor. Mm. Right, Money Baggins is going to give one to Gandalf. We're going to spend one here to play the Dagger Western Ace on Mary. I'm going to use Gandalf staff to give Gandalf another resource so that he can whip his sword out. Gandalf is loaded for bear now. He has two restricted on him. That's as many as he's allowed to have. It does give him plus two attack. Now he has plus two attack. All right, that's all I can do. Play with an ore there. I've kind of played my hand out. So we may be in a tougher spot here than I want to be in, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, we're facing four. And we need uh, nine. Fifteen. We win by fifteen to get through this thing. There are no enemies in the staging area. So we will need to flip two encounter cards. All right, so no problem. All right, so let's commit to the quest. One, three, six. You all ready? Six, seven, eight. Already regretting that. Yeah, I'm already regretting not going into the chamber. All right. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. We'll do eleven. All right. Here we go. Eleven. Bam. Another chamber. So that would have been bad because that would have been six in there just for the chambers. That's a two, so it's a six total. We win by five, which is not enough. It's not enough to get through the many pillared halls. Five, and that sucks. All right, uh, so we can't travel, so that's the end of the uh, quest phase. Doom, doom, doom goes down by one. He will get a shadow card. We'll defend here with Frito. He hits for oh as soon as I defend uh, no, he doesn't have anything. As soon as I defend, Sting says Die die die. Same thing will kill him before anything happens. The so Sting kills him before anything happens. That goes in the pit. And that is the end of the turn, folks. Hopefully uh the machine starts running a little bit better. We're doing okay. Up, we move an oar, and we peek. Unexpected courage. There we go. Actually, play that with Gandalf. So we will money baggins Gandalf to play unexpected courage, and I will put unexpected courage on. 
knowing what I know, I will put expected courage on Aragorn. We will quest successfully enough to get through here, I think. Which means that we will have the Orc Chieftain coming at us. Which I can Mr. Underhill him, of worst case scenario, I can just tell him to go suck it. And the new top, top card is... Bowhammer! Nice! Okay. So, because it's on the top of the deck, it'll be in a different phase, we'll be able to uh, draw some cards. We like that as long as Gandalf or well any as long as any of our guys do damage. So we're gonna need everybody to do it. So here we go. So that's the end of our uh staging. I'm gonna leave uh Gandalf staff up to get rid of a shadow card because we're just gonna make sure that nothing happens. So if I uh, Mr. Underhill him, it doesn't matter, so I will I will exhaust the staff to give Mary a resource so that Mary can pay for Legolas. All right, so we're looking at six. Into the quests, two, uh, three, six with a ready, nine. He attacks for five, nine. I think that's enough. Nine and eleven. Eleven with one with two cards to come, so we may or may not actually succeed depending on what flops off the deck here. One, two, so so I made an error because I forgot to put Grievous Wound out. So I am going to backtrack some things because I need to do that. Would not do that, so I'm only giving nine. So I have to retcon, and that's my apology. And I have to take two off of here because I would not have done it the last turn either. Okay, so we're actually at six versus nine, which is bad. Mary can only take one more damage. So my error there was not getting, I was putting it the damage on Mary. That was a critical error on my part. Really gimps us. Okay, so two cards coming. One. Got the uh, Mines of Moria, so that screws us anyway. And... Pull the Took! Doomed one! We're going to be able to move one damage token from Doom, Doom, Doom. Okay. So one comes off. And this is going poorly. And we do one. All right. So we've got two, four, eight. So we win by one. Not enough. Yeah, that was a mistake going to the many pillared hall. That's okay. So we don't have any enemies. Nothing I can do about that. I was trying to make sure I could kill the enemy that came, but now I need to really refocus to try to get us out of here because we're going to run out of time and the Balrog's going to come at us pissed. All right, I cannot travel. I can't do anything. We're gimping ourselves down the line. I need to uh, reset ourselves and get my act together. Otherwise, we're in deep shit. All right, top card. Fast hitch. We like fast hitch, which is good for us. All right, so and I'll spend his one to put fast hitch into play. We'll put fast hitch into play on Frodo. So Frodo can defend twice or quest 
defend back if need be. I will peek at the top card. Another flame of an ore. Not what we wanted. Really need my condition attachment removal. Mary is not a functional human being right now. We've drawn through a good part of our deck. We're 20, more than 20 cards plus into my deck, and I have not found an F loss yet. Nothing I can play. Actually, yes, I can. I can exhaust the one ring to money baggins and pay four from Mary to get Legolas in play. Legolas is going to be big for us. I put his damage back on there. I accidentally took it off. Here comes Legolas. We're close. We need uh, a couple more allies in play. All right, so here we go. Having Legolas out there helps because that's an extra attacker, which means I can probably quest with, mm, I don't know. Let's quest here. One, three, six. We'll fast hitch. Six, nine. Twelve. Twelve against eight. With two cards coming, because there's still no enemies out there, which is kind of ridiculous. We'd be kind of screwed anyway. There for killing that one. All right, first card. Enemy. When revealed, either remove one damage from Doom, 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 or reveal an extra card. At this point, I pretty much have to reveal an extra card. Nothing else I can do about that. I don't want to take any more off of Doom, Doom, Doom. Like, Frodo's not completely ready yet. And that's one. You know what? I'll just do it. It's either going to go well or it's not. And if we get smoked, we get smoked. Here we go. Second one. They're coming. Doom 2. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile in the encounter deck, and discard cards from the encounter deck until X enemies are discarded. So we'll get to go find some enemies and we doom two, so we're up two. Duffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. That many in there. And then uh, go find us some enemies. There's one. Like the worst one too. Alright, that's our second card, so that we don't have any more. Alright, so now we got some enemies up there, that helps. We're going to lose this quest. Let's use a threat of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. We win by one. Still crawling along here. All right, but we can actually, uh, we're at 41. So I can optionally engage him. And he just comes. Here we go. All right. So when he was revealed, I have to assign a, a damage to characters I control. No problem. I'll throw one on Sam. All right. So here we go. We can do some fighting now. All right. So Frodo's going to exhaust to defend the first attack. And we'll exhaust to defend the first attack against. Doesn't matter, they both hit for three. We'll do that guy. So there's their shadow cards. I did not use Gandalf staff this last time, so I will ignore the shadow card from this guy. And because Frodo exhausted, Sting says nothing to him. So his shadow card would have been nothing. So he bounces, and then Frodo will rise up again to defend this other guy's attack. And his sting says he takes two damage. Ghost, uh, uh. his shadow card says he makes an additional attack after this one. Cool, we freaking hate you. Nothing I can do about that. So, unfortunately... Ugh. 
means Aragorn's going to defend it. it. means I'm not going to be able to kill. I can kill one of them. All right, so he gets another attack here. He hits for three, four. I defend for three, so Aragorn will take a point of damage. Okay. He can't attack back for three from Legolas, and Legolas can do three damage, and that will kill him, which will allow us to draw a card. He goes away. And he did archery one, we did not, or archery two, we did not do the archery two. So one damage here, and one damage on Bill. And because Legolas participated in an attack that killed somebody, we get to draw a card. So boom, we get the flame of an ore. Uh, and unfortunately, all of my guys who had weapons, all my guys who had weapons did not attack, and Mary is stuck, so I can't do anything with that. Seek our top card, Gimli. All right, that's the end of that. Doom, 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 we'll drop one. We did get a second kill up there. I think I still think we might be okay, but it's getting tougher here. So take our top card. Or mirror. Alright, Money Baggins says. That Gandalf will get the extra money. I've got four. I cannot get both of them out because I do not have the resources to pay for both. Mm -mm. Need my Athos badly to show up to get rid of this condition attachment. It's killing me. Okay. Um. So Boromir, he gets plus two defense when, it, uh, when he's fighting against somebody with a higher engagement cost. That's not going to be a thing for us. Gimli readies after an enemy's revealed from the counter deck, so he can, he can, uh, I need to get them both out. At this point, I'm going to do Gimli. Or so Gimli hits the board. I'm going to use the staff to draw Boromir. I can see what the next card is. Hopefully, it's something good. Elbrin Stone! That would have been nice to know. That would be helpful, just to get the extra willpower to quest. My plus one attack over here on. Okay, well, I don't have enough resources to do anything else. The guys who have resources can't actually use them because they just don't have the resource smoothing that I was hoping that I would get, that I've experienced in past games. So we're looking at a, another round of uh, taking a beating. All right. Uh, let's quest. Two, three, four, five, eight, up, eleven, up. I only need to win by a couple. Once I get through, the 
so bad. Get the Amber Mars ball out. I gotta win by freaking four. Right there. I gotta win by four. Five. I need to win by five just to get anywhere. Two, three, four, five. Eight. Eleven. Wait, I mean, he's up there. Just left him. Making mistakes all over the place in this game. 11. <clears throat> 14. As good as I can do. Deep Fisher! Remove character you control from the quest and discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that character is printed, willpower is less than the discarded card's uh, threat. Discard that character. Cool. Alright, so Gandalf's going to get removed, so that costs us three willpower. And discard the top card, and he could just disappear. He just could just fall into a hole. He, will, he doesn't. Get rid of Shadow of Fear. Good. Alright, so that's one card. Second card. Uh, ancient guard room. Location lock in this deck is killing us. All right, so I think we're even. I think it's a wash. So again, we don't get anywhere. Two, three. Yep, we don't get anywhere. The location lock is absolutely destroying us right now, and we're going to end up with a Balrog sitting in our lap here real soon, and we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so we got nothing. It's a wash. We st we have officially stalled out here, folks. All right, a shadow card to the uh, archer. Proto still defends, exhausts to defend. Discard that. He takes a point of damage. Ugh. And Frodo gets. Again, he gets plus one. If this attack destroys a character. He makes an additional attack. He will not destroy a character. It will actually do no damage at all. And after that, Frodo will stand. And they need archery too, so I need to do some damage. Hold on. One and one. So he does four for defense for four bounces. And we can actually attack back and kill this guy. So Frodo will attack for two. Legos will attack for three. For that's five. Aragorn for four. That's nine. That's enough to kill that guy. All right, so we have achieved the the killing component of getting out of the uh, drums in the deep. I will uh, exhaust Sting to Foe Hammer because he participated in the attack to draw three, two, three, and Legolas allows us to draw a card as well. There. Okay. Oh, uh, the end of the quest phase said that. Doom, doom, doom. Loses one. All right, so there we go. We're at the end of the turn. We will ready. Fresh everybody. Top card of the deck. Gandalf is friend of friends. Good. Athelos. Ha ha. Big. That's huge. All right. So Aragorn will spend one to put Athelos into play. Back. And I'm going to do it right away. So I will exhaust Aragorn. He will. Ready. And I will get rid of the condition attachment here. And that's just going to go in the ocean because it goes away permanently. And it heals for the one point of damage. Well, Doom 2, 
draw to. So we'll draw our friend of friends and and steward finally keep the top card. It is the other steward. Boy, all my cards are stuck together in this game. Okay, so uh, Money Baggins will give Gandalf a resource. Gandalf will spend two. You become steward. I know that he's not going to be around for a ton longer, but we haven't even gotten out of the chamber yet, so I need him to fund me as long as possible. So he will gain two more, and then I'll spend those two. You put Celebrin Stone. I can't use it this turn, so I mean, it'll be worth it. Hold on, get those two back. I'm going to spend one from Frodo to put the wizard pipe on Gandalf. I'm going to get the fellowship on the board right now. Also going to spend one from Frodo to put friend of friends on Frodo. I'm going to wizard pipe. You put this into my hand and put Boromir on top of my deck. I have not used my ability to pay off the top of the deck and Mary. And Gandalf will pay to put Boromir into play. And Boromir has entered the chat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thir
to Gandalf because he's not going to be around forever. And our second card is a Surge. We raise our threat by three. That's bad. Good thing that we're going to uh, Aragorn here. And it surges into. As long as nothing raises our threat, we'll be fine. Surges into. A, you got to be shitting me, Joker. <laughs> it surges into a freaking Mines of Moria, so we're, we're, we're effed. We're just effed. It's all right. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we win by five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. So the mines go away. That first one goes away. But we still are stuck. Still stuck. And this guy attacks us. There's nothing I can do about him. So he he's an archery too. So archery two says Gandalf takes two. And here he comes. Nothing I can do to keep him out of the staging area. He gets a shadow card and Frodo's going to defend that. Oh, I get rid of that with the Gandalf staff. We did not use it, so no shadow card from him. Uh, so he has for three. What would a shadow assign? X damage on his characters. Go X is a number of enemies, so we would have taken an extra damage. All right, so we bounce that. And, oh, uh, Sting does damage to him, maybe. Nope. And I will fast hitch Frodo up. And we'll attack him back for four. Eight. I don't have a full hammer in my hand, do I? No. So eight. Eight's enough to kill him, so he goes away. Bye-bye. So another dead body on the fire over there. Still just trapped myself. I can't believe I actually trapped myself. Because we're... At the end of the quest phase, boom. Next turn, we're going to have a Balrog sitting in our lap in the combat phase. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, all right, we're at the refresh phase, so Aragorn will exhaust to reset us down to 32. And then we will ready and refresh, and he will be ready. Ready? Ugh. Ready to refresh? Up. Red is 32 again. What are we facing in this? There are two, five, six, seven, eleven. It's still eleven. And our top card is <coughs> Drinking Song. I like that a lot. Gandalf has one resource. I'd like to get the Kelbrin Stone. Oh, he has Steward of Gondors. He is the steward. And we'll put the Kelbrin Stone in play now onto Aragorn. Giving him the spirit resource, which is vaguely helpful. It, what it is, it really does, is gives us that, which is fantastic. Now he's a plus four willpower. Have another dagger, Western East. Put that on Mary to give him some more attack damage. I think Mary's going to start becoming a, a bug for us. We'll put that out there. His two restricted attachments. Fine. I don't think we're going to have any others. And I am going to Drinking Song off the top of the deck. Bam. Do we get? Oh, there it is. Other friend of friends. Miracle worker. Now we've got almost all of our tools in play. The one that's going to hurt a little bit is not having Rosie in our fellowship. 
he does hurt, which actually means I'm going to put, I may end up putting the third itch on Frodo. Because Frodo's geared up. Three, one, two. Because Frodo is now a defense six. The only thing he needs to make him completely thug life is uh, the Protector Lorien. Then I can start discarding cards to boost him as well. Because the Balrog's going to hit every single turn. Twice. I've got to defend him twice. And without Rosie, that's going to be a problem. I mean, and I very well might let, like, Sam die. Know that I'm going to take Overcome by Grief. And hopefully I can f off that away at some point. So that I can put Rosie out. Because Rosie will be the, bit, the difference maker between the Balrog killing Frodo. And not, because I don't think Frodo can take more than a couple of hits from him before he'll die without the Protector of Lorien to, to help him. All right, so we do have some more cards to play here. One, two. I will put that on Aragorn Defense for four. If Aragorn can't even take take a hit from the Balrog. He just can't. I'll allow him to quest, defend, and attack. I put it over here. We're going to gamble. We're going to put it over here. Then I'll spend one here. Fast hitch. Third time on Frodo. That way he can do every all of it. This card is going to come into play. I think it may end up going out the window here. We will peek the top card. Because we are going to get a Balrog this turn. I will be defending a Balrog this turn. Vector of Lorien would be massively helpful. Where we're, where we're at right now is we're in a sprint and I am bogged down. So this is an ugly, ugly way. I made a handful of very critical errors that have put us in a tough, tough spot. Okay, um, Money Baggins, we will exhaust the ring to give uh, Aragorn another resource. We'll keep the staff up. Our card is Steward. I don't want to swap any of those. Okay. We'll commit to the quest for facing 11. Three. Five. Eight. Thirteen. Nineteen. 23. And we will ready these guys up. Up. One, three against 11. Two cards to come because I cannot do anything about that. One, two, three, go. We get to the darkened stairway. Absolutely terrible location for us. And the second card. Another Mines of Mordor. This, the location lock has got us, man. It has got us freaking tight. All right, so they gained six on us, so they are at 17. Six. Six, so we win by six. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it gets rid of the two mines. That's tough. Still can't get through the many pillared halls. Or the Chamber of Mars Bowl. We haven't even got there yet. And here he comes. Alright, so that's the end of the quest phase. 
And the quest face says he shows up. What's up, man? Ugh. It's for eight. That's tough on us. Like, real tough on us. Oh, let's make sure I got Frodo's stats right. So he's plus one, plus one. So he's plus one, two, three. He's plus four defense. He's a defending for six. It means he'll still take two points of damage. And his shadow card I can't do anything about, so he's going to... Uh... He doesn't attack at the end of the this quest phase because he shows up now. But from now on, he will. So he will attack two. He will attack twice. He'll attack at the end of the quest phase and during the combat phase. We cannot travel. We did not fight anybody, so I cannot draw cards. I am in a bad way, folks. We are uh, ready for the next round, though. Let's see how it happens. I think we still pull it out, but it is going to be brutal. I need some certain things to happen. I need some very certain things to happen. Like, uh, there's a good possibility that I might just send like a guy like Sam out to the wolves and replace him with uh, Rosie Cotton if I'm able. Uh, Stuart of Gondor gives us two. And we've got four resources there. There's zero cards I can play. Um, his staff. Oh. Well, and to get to the chamber, I'm going to have to... I have to uh, get the Orc Chief out, which I can... I can... I can Mr. Underhill him. Staff's on top. It's ugly, folks. It's ugly. All right, chat. Here we go. Um, I'll exhaust this staff to draw. Get the staff there. Oh, maybe there's something on the top I can play. It is! Okay, shit. Fantastic. So, <laughs> I changed some things because Sam's going to just... <laughs> Sam's going to bite it. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It's, it, it's going to be okay, buddy. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, that's, that helps us a lot. Because either way, I'll be able to play her next turn. We'll lose, we'll lose the fellowship and gained overcome by grief. Hopefully by the end of the game, I'll be able to make overcome by grief go away. Um, all right, so we're going to commit to the quest. It's bad. It's bad right now. It's bad. Five, nine, 13, 15, 16, 17. There it's 17 against us. I still need two just to get out of the many pillar hall. Okay, so here we go. Two. Or a three. Five. Nope. Or do I sacrifice Boromir? Thematically, it should be Boromir, right? Even though he's not, it's not his time yet. Thematically, it's Boromir. It's not his time, but it might be his time today. <laughs> it might be his time today. Uh, let me see. Three, three, five. It's going to be Vormir. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Vormir just because it's funny. Just because it's fun. Uh, three, five, eight, 13. And we'll hitch up. Oh, uh, before I go too far, I'm going to money baggins, uh, Aragorn. Uh, 13. And then he'll hitch himself back up. 13, 19, come up. 23, 27. We're up by 10. I only have to draw one card because there is a permanent enemy in the staging area, so that's something. 
That's somewhat helpful. I still feel, I still feel like we're, we might be all right, maybe. Here we go, one, two, three. Doomed one. And uh, remove one damage token from you. Or he makes an attack. Cool. <laughs> all right, guys. Dude, one. You know what? No. No. Ho Tom says no. No. Let's add this card to the victory display and remove from the campaign and cancel when revealed effect. Get out of here. I don't want another. I don't want another one. I'll take the doomed one, but that no, you're out of here. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate your your help. That's it's gone. Bye bye. I don't. I taking three Balrog attacks in a single turn is is un freaking acceptable. Okay, so we won by ten. Did we have anything in here that needs to take stuff? No. We finally got rid of all of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're too shy there. This goes away. This card. We'll go to the chamber Marth ball. Make that active. Doing that means we go find the orc chief. We'll look through the regular deck first. He is right there. Yeah, see, he would have engaged us right away at the beginning. Encounter phase, he engages us, so he would have just, he would have came on down anyway. All right, so that's the end of the quest phase. The end of the quest phase says Balrog attacks us, so that's cool. All right, so he's going to attack us, and I am going to defend it with Boromir because he doesn't have anything that says I can't. This indestructible cannot be optionally engaged. Balrog. And Shadow Card sells Bargo immune to card effects. Well, in the staging area, he is considered to be engaged with the first player, and only the first player can declare attackers against the Balrog. So I am the first player, so it's just me. So he's going to get a Shadow Card. And, Bal and Boromir, being the insane Gondorian hero he is, is going to uh, take, take an absolute, absolute just destruction. He gets hit for eight. And I get a damage. So put the damage on Boromir. Because why not? And then he gets hit for eight. He defends for one, two, three. Taking five damage. Getting absolutely eviscerated. Goodbye, sir. That will uh, get rid of all of my plus one, plus ones for the fellowship. Because it is going to flip over. We will fix that at the beginning of the next turn. But for thoroughness sake, I will make sure because it, I do have more things to deal with this turn. Really hurts Frodo. Frodo's going to have a hit point left on him. Or Legolas might just buy the farm too. Possible. We'll see. I need to do the math. I don't like having to do it that way, but if I can survive one turn, we'll be okay. Okay, so everybody's down. This gets flipped back over because we lost a character. Ugh. All right. So now we're at the uh, travel phase or encounter phase. So here he comes. Ugh. And he gets a he gets a shadow card first, and then he gets one. Right off the bat, I'm gonna Mister Underhill. Uh, Mister Underhill, this guy. So his card goes away. So he doesn't attack us. Now I need to do some math. So he attacks for eight. I'm gonna defend for five. Frodo has one, two, three, four, five hit points. So 
unless he gets boosted by two, Frodo will survive the attack. So I'm going to defend it with Frodo. He will ready. Up. And his attack it doesn't have a shadow effect, so he hits me for eight. I defend for five, so he will take three. Two, three. But he survives. And he can ready again. Stand up. I say he defended the Balrog. He quested. Defended, so he still has a, another one if he wants it. All right, then we can fight back here. Really want to take care of him, but this, he's going to be up there longer than normal, so I'll have some more turns to try to do some damage to him. So let's get rid of the Orc Chieftain. So we're going to attack for three. Seven. Seven. Three. The hell is Mary sitting at? At plus one, plus two, plus three. Who's at three? Four, five. So he's a five. He is a eight total. Need one more, damn it. Aragorn's at a four. I'm going to try to do it so I can do some damage to the Balrog too. So I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I want to be able to use Legolas to draw some cards. I'd like Legolas to be able to participate in two attacks. So, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that'll do it. So that'll kill him. He's not a victory card, so he just goes discard pile. I will use my ability to ready Legolas. Legolas and Aragorn still can't do anything. Too tough. We'll just draw a card. We draw a card for... Oops. Director of Warrior's the next card off the deck. Um, Alright, so that's it. Oh, I can uh, ready Frodo. And he attacks for three. Six. And it'll actually do a point to the Balrog. We do a point. Woo! Okay. So we got to get through the chamber. And then we're off to the races. I still feel good because we got Rosie Cotton coming in here. All right, so that's the end of the turn. We will uh, ready to refresh. And here we go. The steward will generate some more resources. We get to peek the top card. Gandalf says it's Gimli, so we don't care about him. Right out of the box, we're going to put Rosie back out so we get our fellowship back. There she is. That will flip us. And she's literally there to help Frodo. We're still in a bad way, though. We can only. I don't have any other ways to ready her. So, she, because the stupid Balrog attacks twice a turn, which I actually meant to discard cards off the top of the deck, forgot, so I'm not going to. Um, the only the only good part is that I think I can get the Balrog to disappear pretty quickly. All right, so we have flipped the fellowship, so we have our fellowship back. We do get all the uh, the bonuses again. So one, one, and one. One. The tough part is, is I need her to be able to be used more than once a turn. And if I didn't know I was going to be able to have her out, I wasn't able to do that. But I will do 
Protector of Lorien on Frodo, which is going to be a help. I do have a handful of cards I can discard, and Foe Hammer will help me. I meant to do Foe Hammer the last turn, and I forgot, so that's my mistake. Again, many, many errors in this game, which if we end up losing it, it's, that's why. We add Gimli on top of the deck. Don't have any other enemies, so I am going to use the staff to draw Gimli. See what the top card of the deck is. It is a foe hammer that is excellent for us. Only if I get another enemy, but it is excellent for us. Okay, because right now every card in my hand is playable or discardable. So this Frodo sitting at a defense six with Rosie as a defense nine. I do have an Athelos coming, so that will also help. If we can need to quest hard, I can still discard cards for Protector of Lorien. All right, so here we go. We're facing 5, 9, 12, 13, 14. Fourteen. All right, so we still have to quest super hard. So Gimli will quest for 3. 3. Uh, five, eight, thirteen, nineteen, twenty three. 27. Twenty-seven. It's dumb, but that's what I can do. Twenty-seven. One card to come because we do have an enemy in the staging area. And three go. Another Mines of Moria. You've all of them. Getting them all. All right. So uh, they get two more. So we win by eleven. First four have to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so nothing happens when that goes away. It just goes to the victory display. That goes and gets discarded. This will advance the next stage. We are at the uh, Bridge of Cause of Doom. Add the Great Bridge to the staging area, and each player reveals one encounter card and removes one damage token from Doom, Doom, Doom. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. He's coming along. He's going to attack us here in a minute. I've got to finish resolving all this stuff, and then the, uh, the quest phase will end. Uh, add the great, great Bridge to the staging area. There he is. And we reveal an encounter card. You get it work, Uruk. Uh, so he attacks right away. Cool. We we enjoy that. Okay, so he's going to attack. I will defend with Frodo. He will ready up. Attacks for four. What's the shadow effect? Ooh, that shadow effect is bad. It just does a damage. Frodo's got one hit point left. That's bad. Okay, that's bad. That's bad news, folks. That's bad news. Bad shadow effect. I used the wizard staff and making the assumption that I would not have an enemy to deal with. I do. So we're going to have to defend him somehow. Okay, that is the end of the quest phase, so we will be defending again here. He will get a shadow card. He attacks for eight. Plus the shadow, none. So with Rosie, that will bounce. The issue is, is I can't do it again. With well, well I can. I'm just going to have to protect Florian myself to get enough defense. All right. So we are at the traveling phase. Uh, so we are going to the Great Bridge. Comes active. 
When the Great Bridge is explored, discard a hero from play to deal X damage to the Balrog. X is that hero's threat cost. He loses all his keyboards so we can actually kill him, which should be nice. All right, so we're at our encounter phase. We cannot optionally engage anybody, so he will just come on down. Uh, Roto will have to ready himself for his final defense against the Balrog. It means somebody like Aragorn is going to need to defend against that clown. Aragorn has one damage on him. Uh, Gimli readied, though, so that's helpful. Right here is a faux hammer. All right, so shadow cards come here and here. All right, so he hits for eight. I defend for six, seven, eight, nine. I can do it one turn. Then if I kill a guy, which I will kill this guy, we'll just defend here with Aragorn now. So he hits for four, four. Aragorn's defense is four, so that bounces. Uh, then he gets to attack him directly for his attack value of 5 against his defense of 2. So he will take 3 damage from me. And I've been forgetting to deal damage to the Balrog from Sting. I will not forget this time. So Aragorn will do 3 damage to him. Andrew. That's helpful. We will again defend against the Balrog. With Frodo, he hits for eight. I can lose the game right here. He hits for nine. My defense is six. I have to discard three to, to protect our Lorien. That is the maximum amount of cards I can discard. So Gimli, Gandalf, Staff, and Steward go in the garbage. Now, we can fight back. We will fight with Mary and Legolas to kill this guy. Plenty of damage to him to kill him. He gets discarded. I will exhaust a weapon. Gandalf will play Foe Hammer from the top of the deck. Let us draw three. Two, three, huge right there. Need that because that's going to be my emergency. And then Mary will just will exhaust his other dagger. Two, draw three. One, two, half loss. Three, and then Legolas will get readied by Mary, and he allows us to draw a card because he participated in an attack that killed an enemy. All right, all the tools have finally arrived. I think we may actually survive this, folks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what an absolute mess. For those who just showed up, we've been playing Journey in the Dark, and I completely shit the bed on how I handled my location. So I got location locked. And I have been fighting the Balrog in the staging area for like three turns. And Frodo's down to a hit point. I had the fellowship died at one point because I had Boromir just eat an attack straight up. So it's just been an utter mess. But uh, I think we've recovered enough to where we may actually survive. We'll see. All right, so that is the end of the combat phase. That card got discarded because it was his shadow effect. Oh, man. Um, we just drew a heap of cards. We've got the bridge in play. The staging area's got 5, 9, 12, 13, 14. It's still rolling around at 14. There's nothing I can do about that. We're just going to have to quest as hard as we possibly can. Okay, so the end of the turn, we will get us standing and ready. Rosie Cotton showed up so late that I played a fast hitch on another on a Frodo, which... Oh, which just kind of increased the difficulty of how things are going. Do have Flame of Anor here because I want to be able to do some damage to the Balrog, so we have a chance to actually kill him. Otherwise, we have to eat all of those burdens, and I do not want to do that. Oh, I forgot to attach Overcome by Grief to somebody too. I meant to do that. 
will throw it on because he would have been the weakest component of it. It is what it is. I mean, it, it affected the game maybe a little, but it's not going to... I don't think it would have killed me. So I would have won by it. Hey, yeah, it's fine. A anyways, um, my Athelos here... going to be a huge thing so one we'll put our f loss out and then i'm going to exhaust aragorn right away and he will ready the heal frodo of all of his crap i'm going to leave the overcome by grief out um frodo is going to spend two of his you put some intuition into play Everybody gets plus one willpower for the turn. We'll draw two. Two. Not sure what I'm looking for other than I just want to draw cards at this point. Because I just need to be able to discard as many cards as I possibly can for questing and everything. I, I mentioned that I was going to remember to do Sting against the Balrog, but he's uh, he's immune anyway, so I haven't been messing that up. Um, I will play uh, Dayron's Rune, so draw two and discard one. Two. I will discard Sam. He to help me. Discard something cheap. A uh, friend of friends. Top card, because Gandalf's still around to let us look. It is another Dayron's Rune, so I'll go ahead and play that from the top of the deck. The so draw two. I will discard a Auburn Stone. Faint will be nice to stop a, any random attack from us. Top card, let's see. Former, we'll leave him right there because we'll Flame of Anor here. He'll, uh, you know, it may not have, it may not matter. I actually don't think it's going to matter because he's going to, uh, unless we don't win the quest. I don't want to keep defending the Balrog. I need to get him gone. Only put it, so we still got another three turns in this game, so. Mm. Okay. I need anything else right now, so I think we're okay. Um, all right, so we're looking at 14, so let's commit to the quest here. Three. Five. Eight. Uh... 14. You all ready? Fourteen. Uh. 19, 24, we're up by 10, that's all I can do, because I don't want to exhaust Aragorn, ready here, ready there, and use Flame of Anor to ready Gandalf if I need him, I can also play another Frodo's Intuition at the end if I need more willpower, uh, 14 against 24, one card to come because there is still an enemy in the staging area. Actually, we don't care about that anymore. Uh, one, two, three, go. Another ancient guard room. 
So they we uh we win by a good bit here. We win by a touchdown. We win by seven. Oh. Discard that. We win by a TD, so we get five here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That gets us the five in there, and that's for a protector of Lorien from Frodo. So we'll put the three more up there. All right, so here. Here we go. Gandalf, willing the flame of Anor, is going to huck himself into the uh, the great abyss, the great bridge. Says that when the great bridge is explored, discard a hero from play to deal X damage to the Balrog. That hero's threat is that the hero's threat cost. The Balrog loses all keywords for the remainder of the game, and the player may trigger any player may trigger this response. So Gandalf. Will cast himself into the pit, screaming, You shall not pass, meaning you do not have the right to pass. You go back to the shadow. Handoff gets discarded, and he will deal 14 damage to the Balrog. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, being a total of 15 on him. Because he had overcome by grief on him, it goes into the abyss. I have one whole card left in my in my deck. It is Boromir. We know that. We do not get to look at it anymore, though. Realistically, but I have one card left in my deck. I do not have a Will of the West in my deck, so I cannot recycle it. So it's either win it, win it now, or uh, we're out of here. So this is uh, in the victory display. We can travel. I fucked all that up because I had a, oh, no, 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 I didn't. Right, I thought I had a, uh, another Minds of Mori out there. I do not. Um, the ancient guard room is going to enter the active location so that we are looking at five, nine, 12, 13, 14 again, instead of 17. We have lost the fellowship. Boromir is going to miracle himself back to life, though, because he is right here. We know he's here, and he is going to come back and save us. So I'm not even going to bother doing all the removing my tokens and everything, because we are at the end of the round. Actually, bullshit, we are. We are at the fight like a mofo phase, so I actually do need to discard all of this crap, because my guys just got weaker. We do not have the fellowship any longer. I don't know if you guys can hear my music, but the timing of my music is impeccable because I am listening to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack, and it is the music from when Gandalf falls into the off of the, the Bridge of Casa Doom with the Balrog. It is oddly uh, time wise perfect, which is very, very cool. Everybody's super sad to see Gandalf perish. Make sure I got it right. One, two, three. So he's a plus three. Yep. Okay, so there we go. I don't know why Mary would have more than plus one. Two. He's got plus three. Okay, so we're good. We got it. Frodo's a plus three. He's got friend of friends. Sword. We should be able to. Do. All right, so there we go. Oh, I forgot to take the uh, the extra from Frodo's intuition out. So no problem there. Okay, so now we're here. Uh, we're at the end of the quest phase of so the Balrog. Says he's gonna come come get some. 
He hits for eight. Now I could stop his shadow effect, but I, uh, I don't have a way to stop that. So it is what it is. I do have close call here, which will probably be the thing that bails us out. Uh, he hits for eight plus a shadow effect. Uh, so I raise my sword by one. He hits for eight. I defend for five, six, seven. I will just take a point of damage this time. And then I will ready him because I will have to defend him a second time. Because he attacks at the end of the quest phase and during, because he is engaged with us, he is an enemy, he attacks again. And I will defend again. No shadow, so he hits me for eight. I defend for five, so I would take three. I will uh, actually faint it too. I won't faint it this time. I will discard Legolas, Rosie, and Deep Knowledge. Take no damage. Actually, I'll just take one. Actually, I'll just take the Deep Knowledge first. I will take another point. So we've taken a couple of points of damage, but we're not dead. Now we get to fight back, though, and I don't know if I have enough to do anything to him, but we're going to try. All right, so let's fight back here. We've got Mary for... Shit, Mary gets plus one here. So he gets uh, two, four... Uh, attack plus two. Plus two is four. Plus one, so he's at five, six, seven, so he attacks for seven. Uh, Aragorn attacks for four, so that's 11. Legolas for three, that's 14 against his defense of nine, so we do five. One, two, three, four, five. Close. He's close. I think we'll get him next turn. Okay, so I'll have to do this again next turn. That's the tough part. I can faint him now because he is no longer, his keywords are all gone, so he's indestructible. Oh, no, no, I still can't stop any of that crap because it just gets rid of indestructible. He can't be optionally engaged in the power hog and shadow cards dealt are immune. So, yeah, I still can't do any of that other crap to him. I can't faint him or nothing, so I just have to take a beating. It's going to get close. Ready. Boromir shows. That's a big deal for us because he is our last card. Two, three, four, which will allow us to get our fellowship back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we do get our fellowship back. One, one and one, one and one, one, one and one. Okay. I'm not going to play any cards. The rest of these cards are either to soak damage from the Balrog. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Or push us through the quest. We're, he's so close to dying. We'll get him this next turn. Okay, so what did we say? 5, 9, 12, 13, 14. So 14. We do have to quest. We quest for th 3, 5, 8, 13, oh, 13, Nineteen, twenty-three. So the, that's as good as we can do is twenty-three, without committing some guys that we don't want to commit to the quest. So twenty-three, fourteen, right by nine. Bridge is gone. We just need to get a, a couple of more. Have one more good quest phase in, and we'll we'll win this thing. 
Uh, there are no cards. We actually got all the way down to the last card in the deck for a shadow. That sucks. And here we go. Off the top of the deck, we get uh, an orc. Uh, we'll remove one from Doom Doom Doom. <laughs> That's a nothing. Uh, all right, so that's a two. So we win by, uh, we win by a touchdown again. So, ah, I missed that minus one attack on the Balrog. So we get, uh, we win by seven, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I'm I'm fine with this here because I don't think the Balrog is going to survive long enough to matter. All right, so that gets discarded. I forgot to raise our threat by that. I will do that now. Up by two, so I forgot to do that again. There's so many moving parts in this quest, especially. I'm going to forget some stuff, and I definitely have. I am doing my best to not forget things. And if I do forget something, I try to make it up, which I just did there. So I made that up. Um, all right, so we have successfully gotten through that. Whoops. Part of you. We can travel. Hmm. We'll do the ancient card room again. Hopefully our threat doesn't spike too bad. Nothing fantastic. Okay, so at the end of the quest phase, the Balrog will attack us. Again, we will defend with Frodo. Frodo's back to a six defense, which is huge for us. The attacks are eight, plus a shadow, eight. Rosie Cotton will boost his defense by three, meaning we actually bounce him. So nothing. Suck it. Start that. Engagement phase. He comes on down. Shadow card for the Balrog, because he is engaged with us, so he attacks us twice a damn turn. The fact that I've actually been able to fend off this guy is ridiculous. Frodo will fast hitch to ready. Uh, you know what? Boromir is going to man up against this guy over here because he'll ready if he takes any damage. Hits him for three. Three. He bounces it. Actually, no. He takes it. He takes one, just inherently. Is that a mistake for me to do that? One, two, three. So, no, he's not dead. He, he takes three attack, three damage. He defends one. So he's not dead, but he does ready. He's also got only one hit point left. So that's uh, that was stupid on my part. It's okay. No worries. And the Balrog is going to come on board, and we will defend it with Frodo. He hits for eight. Oh, heard that eight, not. He hits for seven, not eight. He hit for two, not three. So I gave. Boromir a defense back. That's why I chose to do that. I forgot. It hits for seven. Frodo defends for six. I see no reason not to uh, just take that one point of damage this time. He's got five hit points, so we're okay. Discard him. I'm glad he hasn't shown up in strength. All right. Uh, Mary will ready with unexpected courage. The Balrog is sitting at 5 hit points left. I need to do 14 damage to him. 4. 8. Oof. He is at 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8. 15. That will kill him, so he goes into the victory display, defeated. Mary will ready. 
Legolas and Legolas. Frodo gets up because he's pissed. I'll attack for. Yeah, does he plus three? Real? One? Two? Three? Holy shit. Yeah, Frodo will attack for four. Eight. And kill that guy. See ya. I think we're good. I think we're going to make it, guys. Holy crap, we made some mistakes. I don't think that they were critical enough to change the pathway of the game, but I think we're going to win this thing. I'm sure that there's some other things that I probably made some errors on, but you know what? I'm going to, uh, I just take it. It's fine. We are ready to refresh. Ready for the next round. Ooh. No reason to play anything. It's literally just quest as hard as possible to get out of here. I got two quests round, two quest phases to get through. So we are, you know, what was it? Three, five, eight, thirteen. Nineteen. Who are we facing now? Four, five, six. I read a ten out of there. At nineteen. There's no reason not to do it. Nineteen. Twenty-three. This makes it guarantees that we get it. Twenty-three. Boom. I mean, that's overquesting huge. Hey, Doomed One and Surge. Want to be able to treat the print text box of each character and play as blank. Cool. That sucks. Nothing I can do about it. All right, so it's Doomed One. And it surges into another card. Many pillared halls. All right. We will unexpected courage these guys. Get them back up. The text boxes are all blank, so guys like like Rosie can't do shit. Uh, but we don't have any enemies. Many pillared halls. So that's a one, two, so that's a three. There's six, ten. So ten or twenty-three, so we won by a lot. We won by thirteen. So one, yeah, that's damage. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves us one shy. That's as good as we can do. He gets discarded. I'll just go many pillared halls. I don't think it matters this time. Active. No enemies. Ready for the next round. And ready to refresh. And guys, we're going to make it. We are going to make it. No cards to play. No cards to do anything with. Recommit our 23. The quest. Dost hitch. Dost hitch. Dost unexpected. 23. We're facing 2. 6. This should finish. We get a doomed one. Up. Remove one damage token from Doom Doom Two or the bagger makes attack. He's gone. He is in the pit. He is destroyed. Because he lost his indestructible keyword. And we win the quest, folks. We win this quest by 17. So we get one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This card. One, two, three, four, five. And we have won the game. We have made it through the long dark. Of Moria, we have defeated Journey in the Dark. We defeated the Balrog. We lost a valuable member of our fellowship. One of our 
valued members of our fellowship who we thought was defeated was not and he returned to help us escape the mines of Moria. All right, folks, that is, uh, that is the end of the journey in the dark. Let's flip our card. They ran on the light grew before them. Great shafts pierced the roof. They ran swifter. They passed into a hall bright with daylight from its, from its high windows in the East. They fled across it through its huge broken doors they passed, and suddenly before them the great gates opened an arch of bright blazing light. It says the first player must choose one of the burden treachery cards pursued by the enemy or shadow of fear, and one of the burden objective cards, grievous wound or overcome by grief, and add it to the campaign pool. If the Balrog is still in play, the first player has to choose all of them. He is not. So we do have to go dig up those cards so I can take a look at them and figure out which ones we want to keep. I literally played or drew every single card in my deck. Absolutely crazy. Gotta find out where those cards went. I have Grievous Wound here. Go find the rest of my cards here. I don't know where they went. We lost Hotan Bombadil. Hotan Bombadil went bye bye. Yeah, I gotta find out where my uh, where my Gandalf cards went. Where'd he go? There is Shadow of Fear. And pursued by the enemy. Those are the two, right? Pursued by the enemy and Shadow of Fear. Do you not know where Gandalf and my other cards went? I discarded them. I don't know where they went. Weird. I don't know where they. I don't know where my Gandalf card went. Really weird. Oh, there's overcome by grief. All right. So there we go. So we've got to choose between overcome by grief or grievous wound. I think it's fairly easy to say that it's going to be overcome by grief because it is nowhere near as bad as Grievous Wound. Grievous Wound is unbelievably terrible. So we're going to choose Overcome by Grief. And then we've got Pursued by the Enemy. Even one Surge. Each enemy engaged with a player and not in the staging area makes an immediate attack. Uh, treat the printed text box of each character and play as blank. Uh, Shadow of Fear is way better. Way less damaging than uh, I've seen this card just absolutely just kick the living crap out of me. I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna pick Shadow Fear. We'll see we'll see how bad that how that card screws us. So we're gonna dump Grievous Moon and Shadow and Pursued by the Enemy, and we're gonna keep Shadow of Fear. And overcome by grief. The printed text box is terrible, but it's for one round, and depending on when it comes up, it may or may not matter that much. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that uh, how that treats us. Our next quest, we're going to be going. Uh, we're going to be breaking the fellowship. We are out of the mines, and we will be breaking the fellowship. I'll we'll give you guys a quick look at that. I'm going to reset our game real quick here. We'll load up a quest for the breaking of fellowship. There we are. So it gives us that Frodo. I do not use that version of him. But we do get choose one of the gifts from the Lady Galadriel. So you get to pick one of these ones, the three golden hairs. 
the vial of Gladrail, the leaf wrapped the leaf wrapped limboss, or the Lorian rope. We get to add one of those. We've got the Argonoth as a location that's in play, and the uh, Sarn Gabir as a location in play to start. We get to choose one of those. And then we get Frodo's Choice, Sea to Seething, and Path, Gar Path Galen set aside out of play. So Frodo's Choice means Frodo's going to take a walk and disappear for a while. Gets the mechanic is kind of kind of funky. You take the encounter deck discard pile, uh, the sea to seeing, which is fantastic for us, and Frodo's choice, and you sh shuffle the the discard pile of the encounter deck, and put it on the bottom of the encounter deck, and then when you do damage or when you quest successfully, instead of putting quest points on locations in the quest, you discard cards from the encounter deck until you reveal Frodo's choice. So it's kind of like a timer to try and for how long it takes Frodo to make the choice that he's going to uh, take the ring on his own. And then at the end of this quest, we have uh, one of our uh, heroes get captured. I will load up the deck that I'm likely to use here. So you guys can have a quick look at that. And then I'm going to uh, shut down for uh, this stream today. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I said this, this one was a little bit of an up and down, but... Overall, I thought the game went pretty well. I made a lot of play errors in it, just like decision-making errors. So, again, I'm disregarding the boost your threat because it just, it, I think it's a goofy, unnecessary mechanic. The game's tough enough as it is. Um, so our, uh, our, our fellowship here for the breaking of the fellowship quest is going to be Boromir, the hero Boromir. Hero Aragorn, the leadership Aragorn, Tactics Boromir. We're still going to use Money Baggins. And we're going to use Pip. And ideally, Pip is going to be the uh, hero that gets captured at the end of this quest. And we will be playing this quest a week from today at 3 p.m. Eastern. I look forward to seeing everybody here for that. I will be posting the VOD of this over on my YouTube channel at Broncos Gaming World. That'll be a probably sometime today if uh, anybody came in late wants to rewatch it. I will be here tomorrow afternoon playing uh, Marvel Champions LCG Living Card Game by Fantasy Flight Games. It'll be Captain America against the Absorbing Man in Mission 2 of the Rise of the Red Skull. And Thursday... Here at 3 p.m. Eastern, I will be playing the, I think it's the second to last mission of the Dunwich Legacy in Arkham Horror with our girlfriend, Jenny Barnes, who is uh, pretty beat up, but hanging tight. Um, follow me over there on uh, YouTube, Broncos Gaming World, and uh, I'll be putting out a new channel here soon. That's just going to have a bunch of uh, some relaxing videos out there showing some uh, wilderness video and pictures from around the world. Just some things to let us all kind of disconnect from the world and relax for even if it's just for a few minutes every day. I'm going to be putting some of that stuff out on my new channel. Um, as soon as it's ready to go, I will give you guys some more information on that. Until tomorrow afternoon, folks, I appreciate you. Thank you for... Uh, for watching me uh, be a small streamer here, trying to uh, share some of the things that I really enjoy in life with the rest of you guys. I appreciate you, and I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Take care.